Hey guys, good morning and welcome to another vlog. Today is gonna be another great day because we're gonna be talking about the five things that YouTubers are probably not telling you when it comes to building a YouTube channel, especially in the automotive industry. And yes, it's gonna be rough sometimes, just like that section that I walked onto. And we're also gonna be talking about like things that could potentially help you uh, really continue in building your YouTube channel. So without further ado, let's dig into some content. Let's go. So first on my list is that it takes a lot of time and effort to build a quality content for you guys. And when I got started, I thought it would be like a film a car, post it kind of thing. But the more I wanted to create quality content for you guys, the more I'm realizing that I really wanted to spend a lot more time looking for good cars, looking for good information, and looking for quality events, and also putting the effort of actually going there and driving there and building really good connections to other car enthusiasts as well. So I could actually provide really quality content for you guys. and. Can you just imagine, if I actually attended a four hour event, I could probably get like about seven minute quality content on that one. So it does really take a lot of time of filming and editing and stuff like that. So you really have to be patient on that one. So that's the first thing on my list, is that it takes a lot of time and effort to building a YouTube channel. on my list is that you really need to upgrade your skills and your equipment as well it's more on the skills than the gears but um when I got started like I said earlier I thought it's just a film and post kind of thing but then again the more I wanted to create quality content for you guys the more I am intentionally learning how to film I'm asking people on how to make b-rolls and shoot montage and stuff like that I'm also watching filmmakers and I'm also watching all the my favorite youtubers and how they actually do it and learn from it so who can do that everybody can all you gotta do is be intentional in doing it and upgrading your skills and doing it every single time because the more you do it the more you're gonna get better at it and when it comes to the gears or the equipments I think that if you really want to create quality content as a content creator I think you really have to invest in a quality equipment as well and I'm not saying that you gotta get it now but what I'm saying is that you really have to save money and invest in good quality gears as well and there's a lot of really cheap gears out there now that could actually provide really good quality images as well so again like for me uh, if you really want to create quality uh, videos definitely uh, quality equipment comes into play so that's my second thing on my list of the things that youtubers are probably not telling you but before we proceed to the third thing on my list let's go get a cup of coffee shall we I'll take a grande pipe on a venti cup and just, just fill it up with milk, please. Mm. So thank you. So the third thing on my list is that there are going to be some mishaps no matter what. In fact, that's just the Murphy's Law, right? So what you can actually do when you encounter these challenges is use these things to learn from it. Like especially in the car channel, if you're actually truly driving your car, cars are going to break down. Just like what happened to the Beamer, but we'll talk about that in the next vlog. So, like any kind of challenges in your vlog uh, just use them as a learning curve so that you can improve and also use these learnings so that you could teach other people as well in the near future so that's the third thing on my list there's gonna be some mishaps no matter what
fourth thing on my list is that there are gonna be some naysayers. So people are not gonna support you, some people are gonna hate on you, and some people are just not gonna believe in what you're doing. But whatever they do, all you gotta do is keep doing what you're doing. Stay focused and consistent on your goal on your YouTube channel. And at the same time, use these uh, negative comments and stuff like that as a constructive criticism so that you can actually learn from it and grow from it as well. So other than that though, fact of the matter is whether it's a like or a dislike, a good comment or a bad comment, it still helps you with the algorithm on YouTube. So whatever it is, it's still really good opportunity for you to grow your YouTube channel. So again, fourth thing, there are gonna be some naysayers on your channel. mishap earlier so my camera died and I forgot to bring my extra battery so these things actually happen when you are filming but let's just suck it up and finish the fifth thing let's just use my phone so the fifth thing on my list is that you really have to make sure that you enjoy what you're doing when you're creating content and the biggest reason behind it is that so you don't get tired immediately because it is actually exhausting sometimes when you're filming and I can just imagine filming something that you, you don't even enjoy. It would be something that would be really, really dragging you to quitting immediately on YouTube. So you really have to make sure that in, you enjoy what you're doing and at the same time you enjoy the process of creating content. So that would be the fifth thing and final thing that I think YouTubers don't really talk about a lot when it comes to creating a YouTube channel. So I really hope that you guys enjoy this clip as much as I did filming it. I'm really hoping that I've imparted some really good information as well that you could use whether you want to start a YouTube channel or whatever platform it is that you choose in creating content. So let's end this with a really good sunset here at Kate's Park and again Please do subscribe if you're not yet subscribed because I'm still giving away 500 Canadian dollars to one lucky subscriber. And on that note, please stay safe, take care, and make the most out of your day. Peace.